Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's video is focusing on this My Favorite Thing sketch. It's uh, number 193 and we're going to hop on in. I'm going to start by doing something a little different. Normally I would cut out like a circle using my die cuts um, and create like a focal image. But I got these tailored expression stencils in and I wanted to use them so this one um you get the two different sizes and then you also get the cutout portions so you could either just put the circles down and then color around or do like we're doing today which is using the bigger one sorry it's a little dirty because of course i test it first but they have these lines that are in like grooved into the stencil and what that does is it allows you to be able to line up your cardstock for a two size and um i think my my pages are cut to uh four by five and a quarter which would be a a, a great layering size you know for a card front and then it looks like the second line probably goes up either um, a quarter of an inch from that so it would be like five and a half by four and a quarter um, which is your card front itself so there's a lot of different ways you can line it up and I'm just taping from behind using um, some purple tape for some reason I was a little drunk when I put that down the first time it's hard to see with the lights um, it's hard to line up so that's why I had to hold it up looking at me so I can get that fixed and we're going to start with some mowed lawn then we're going to use some mustard seed and we're going to use um, abandoned coral sorry for all the blurriness all right and I'm using tailored expressions blender brushes um, I've been using these pretty exclusively now only because I really love that there's one in every color so I can use one brush for a color family and it just keeps it nice and simple so those are the ones that I've been using eventually I do want to get a few of the um, picket fence just so I could test them out because you know it's just interesting and I like to share you know my thoughts on stuff like that with you guys with the different products so um, that'll probably be a little bit down the road, but I'm really enjoying the Taylor Expression ones. Okay, so now we're doing um, laying down the abandoned coral. And what I like is when you mix in with the yellow, the abandoned coral, you kind of get a little bit of an orange line. So the fading between the colors is is interesting depending on which you know colors that you're picking of your dis distress oxide inks and then before I do my stamping I wanted to clean up the distress oxide that was on the stencil itself and now we're going to leave everything typed up or taped together I'm gonna use this stamp set from Simon Says Stamp and we're going to line this up into our misty tool and I'm just using my misty corners to hold down I was going to put this smaller one there and I didn't realize the stamp is so long that particular magnet I, I can't have it there <laughs> and I really didn't need it there because I remember I've already done this one so I, I knew that this was going to work so I don't know what possess me to bring that over but you'll see me here I'm gonna kind of lift up a little bit get my finger in there and move that magnet so that way my stamp will actually go down and I did have to stand up to press down um, only because like where the edge of the stencil is if you don't have good pressure there it's going to not completely go to the edge and it's only because of that little bit of thickness of the stencil you really got to have good even weight pressure when you're pressing down all right so I'm gonna close this and show you the magic so I'm um, peeled off the stencil and this is where I was talking like at that very very edge you can't see it 
but it's it's really thin if you want it to go completely to the edge you can use a marker i was showing you color it in in the black i'm just going to use my sentiment to kind of cover that little bottom part so that it's no big deal but if it bothers you you can um use different techniques to um kind of fill that in all right so i just took some stamp cleaner um, I sprayed it all over my stencil to just clean up that ink from the um, Nocturnal, the Versa, uh, the Versa Claire ink, and the um, Distress Oxides. And it's not going to be perfectly white again. Um, it still had some smudges, so I just cleaned it up and grabbed a paper towel, and I'm good. If you're really that concerned about it, you could always take it to the sink and wash it with soap and water and um, try and get it as clean as you can. But I plan on using these with um, glitter paste and all kinds of stuff, so it's not gonna stay clean forever. It's a nice thought though, but it's not. <laughs> all right, so for our uh, final project here, instead of making the, uh, I guess where the focal image is, uh, smaller I think um, Christy Mercotte had measured it uh, differently I decided just to have my brown paper be four by uh, five and a quarter and then I did the, my, my matte piece at four and an eighth by five and three eighths and that's gonna be my card base I think with the circle stencil that we picked from tailored expressions the image is large enough that you know it, it it just seems to fit with this sizing and then you could see there I created a banner edge and I did this one differently I did it like the normal kind of banner edge that we we all typically or normally see and I'm just gonna tape it up and put some glue and attach that to the card front but on my tester card I did try and make it look like the uh, banner in the sketch up here in the far right corner and then I'm just gonna ink that up and get this evenly spaced on our mat piece and then we're gonna attach it to our card base now I will tell you this like I hate when my cards don't want to close they seem like they just want to hang out and be open so I tend to take it and I'll keep flipping it inside out and rubbing it with my bone folder until it gets to the point where it pretty much is staying closed. Now I did a boo-boo here. I put my image down on top of the card front and it wasn't completely dry. Don't forget, Nocturnal Ink by VersaClair and VersaFine Inks they stay wet longer than other inks because they are, um, oh my God, and it just left my brain. It's not hybrid. They're a pigment ink. Thank you, Lord. And um, with the pigment inks, you got to either hit it with the heat tool to help it dry faster or use like embossing, clear embossing powder and heat it up. Um, you definitely got to give it time to dry. Otherwise, if you put it down on something, it can leave stains because it's not dry yet. And then for the sentiment, I grabbed some sentiment strips. And I just attached that to the back. And now we're going to lay down our uh, sentiment that I had already pre-cut out. And it says, holding you in my prayers. And then to finish it off, I'm going to grab my black Nouveau Drops. And put three down in the bottom left hand corner and after I put them down I will tap it ever so slightly to make them go a little bit flatter and obviously the harder you hit or hit them the flatter they get so you want to just keep that in mind especially when you're laying them down all right and then I'm gonna bring over the first one I did which says may all your wishes come true and you can see I didn't have a wide enough strip so I just put two of the banners together and yeah all you need is your stencil some blending inks and you have a really pretty card using a layout from a sketch super simple and you can do a bunch of these cards 
at once you know what I mean just have a bunch of them ready to go and just keep layering your colors and just do each step for however many you're doing you know what I mean if it's five if it's two if it's a um, hundred you're gonna do the same step until all of them are done so that way when you're done with the final step you're complete so thank you guys for joining me make sure you hit the like subscribe and share button and definitely you know leave a comment down below I love reading them and I definitely try to respond to everybody so thanks again you guys and I hope you have a great weekend